So, Sammy, the SG, what's the name again? AGL. Uh, SGAGL. They say that you're peddling false allegations and um, we, also your collaborators, without attempts to verify same, uh, so the unprofessional and uncritical media, and there's a warning here that we shall be held liable for reckless damage to genuine businesses and reputations. Uh, most importantly, they say is that uh, the companies and transactions have at all material times, including during the competitive procurement process, conducted themselves with integrity and complying with due process of the law. <coughs> Doc, let me begin by strongly condemning this statement. Mm -hmm. Service Ghana Auto Group Limited. Those who run this company mm -hmm. should be told in very clear terms mm -hmm. that they cannot intimidate anybody in this country. Mm -hmm. They are not allowed to use such words Why? on the Ghanaian media, on members of parliament carrying out their constitutional mandate, and on the Ghanaian people. Look, we are talking about cumulatively. 108 million dollars if you add the 54 million dollars on the procurement of the ambulances the 150 million cities that was paid to them between 2020 and 2023 and then the 34.9 million dollars for ambulance spare parts you put all of that together it's 108 million dollars i invite them to come and read the annual public debt report that is submitted to parliament and you see this country, president, vice president, ministers, going a begging, sometimes for $50 million, $20 million, $10 million. You have come into the public space using our taxes, our taxes. And as citizens, we are raising fundamental issues, issues bordering on accountability, probity, transparency, Breaches of the Procurement Act. We are reading the Auditor General's report. Damning Auditor General's report. You just played the video. The Minister for Health telling the Assurances Committee in Parliament that they don't have a budget line for this. The $34.9 million is not in the budget. What does the Constitution of Ghana say? Can public officials just dip their hands in the public purse? Well, they said don't blame them. They said they are private businesses. How they have how, gone through due process? How dare you? They, issue, they have issue. the requisite qualifications. How come to that? Due how come to they all have, of all, they all, have all of all that? Contract. All of that is baldadash, baldadash, total hogwash. How dare you issue threats that you 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 take a serious view? Uh, notice is hereby served. They think they can intimidate us. Intimidate. Duly elected members of parliament carrying out. They think that what? We were voted to go to parliament to go and sleep, to go and just drink tea, cross our legs, and watch as people dupe the republic. Is that what they think our mandate is? Look, they should not annoy us at all. I am totally outraged at this statement. They attempt to call people uh, unprofessional, uncritical media. I mean, how dare you? Our taxpayers. Money. They said the media has not spoken to them to get their sight. And so what? That's what that they are saying. And so what? And, and then you use these words and you are issuing threats. Which one? Issuing threats. Notice is hereby served on those peddling false allegations, including by the media, with their attempts to verify same. The particular, the unprofessional, the uncritical media. I mean, look at them. They said they shall be held liable. Well, that means they could be sued. <laughs> Look, 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 look at this company. If somebody is mm. caught, at least, Nana, 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 at least they, they've succeeded in intimidating me, so that's fine. Oh, you? Yeah, I, 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 I would I'm, not. I'm I would not be intimidated. I feel, I feel so. that you'll be taken to court. No, I feel Doc, so. I Doc, feel so. That you Doc. can be taken to court. Nana, can, 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 can I'm scared, I? I'm I, I yes. don't. I don't. This is serious. I don't want any interjection. Then go, Hundred, go straight. To Hundred and eight million dollars of our taxpayer funds is what is at stake. Okay. It can construct my road, mm, the mm. bad road mm. from Accra to Aveime, mm. mm, the traffic, the congestion that we go through, I'm all not, those road projects which have been... I'm sure you're not suggesting which, which, which that... Which have been stopped. I'm sure mm. you're not suggesting that acquisition of 
300 ambulances and the subsequent uh, maintenance is, 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 I, I am is a bad investment. I am condemning the dubious inflation. Okay. And I'm coming to that. The, the, the sheer inflationary price and unconscionable. Mm. I'm coming to that. Look, what is false about this expose? I intercepted these letters signed by the Honorable Ken Furiata, dated 9 February 2024. What is false about this? Where Ken Furiata approves a $34.9 million contract and subsequently writes to the Minister for Health that his ministry will take care of $10 million. Quote, this ministry is only able to fund up to the tune of $10 million out of the amount requested and recommend that the Ministry of Health finances the difference through the NHI. This is Ken Ofriata writing. When he knows that there is no parliamentary approval, NHI doesn't have it in their formula. I have all the NHI formulas here. The Honorable Minister has confirmed that. But this is upon a request by the Ministry of Health, right? Yes, okay. by the Ministry of Health. Mm. Then that same 9 February, the second letter I intercepted is here. Mm. The Honorable Ken Ofriata writes to the Control Accountant, Accountant General instructing them to release 10 million dollars equivalent to 120 million 711,000 ghana cities mm. at an exchange rate of one dollar to 12.0711 ghana cities it's here signed by kano i understand that money has not been released. i follow through has it been released i follow through yeah they, they, they went through accountant general went to bank of ghana yes. bank of ghana has done the lc's However, a source at the Bank of Ghana told the Ghanaian Times that nobody has called nor come to claim the LC yet. So, so I have here, I'll, I'll give you a copy. This is the invoice register from GIFMIS, which has payment vouchers from the GIFMIS system, the Ghana Integrated Information mm -hmm. Management System. And based on the instruction that Ken Ofoyata issued on 9 February, the Control Accountant General from GIFMIS, it says that transaction number MOHHQGS00124 slash RW. Payment to Service Ghana Auto Group Limited. Description being release of funds for the establishment of letters of credit to procure spare parts for 307 ambulance vehicles. Date 23rd February 2024. Same day. 23rd February. No, okay. this was two 9 weeks February. After. Two weeks after. Mm. So from the gift miss records, funds have been released release of funds to the BOG, mm. actually to Service Auto Group Limited. Mm. That is what the gift means records reflect. But has, so has the money been paid? That is what we see from the gift means. And you see, this government, remember when we started probing the Sputnik V thing, this same Ministry of Health and the finance, we told us, oh, no money has been, we haven't lost any money. There has been no payment. It came up yesterday. And Dr. Okoboy admitted that, yes, uh, that's what we were told that they hadn't released the funds, only for the parliamentary probe to establish that actually the monies had gone to the sheikhs, those shonky sheikhs who imposed it. How much? $2.4 million. Okay. As we speak, we haven't retrieved that money. Okay. They are up to that same game again, telling us, oh, it's not being paid. And you see, this uh, thing... $2.4 million. That was for the... Sh the that was for the... Sputnik. Sputnik. Uh, the... The... the Ajima Menu. No, the majority... Uh, the minority leaders trial, what, how much is involved? That's 2.3. <laughs> good, okay. good point. 2.3. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You see, the right. real prosecutions will start soon. And then, you see, this, when you talk about sources at Bank of Ghana, mm. then it, 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 it occurred to me... According to, to the Ghanaian Times. Yes, according yes. to the Ghanaian Times. To make this observation, have you noticed that since this scandal broke, nobody is putting a name to any statement? True. The Ministry of Health statement, they just said PR unit. No name, nobody signed. Then this statement, this annoying statement, this bogus statement from Service Ghana Auto Group Limited, we only see a signature, no name. Then Ghanaian Times reports that a source at Bank of Ghana says, oh, we haven't released the funds yet. We haven't paid the company. We've done the LC, but nobody has called. Yes. Who no, come to yes. pick it up? Who, who is that source? Why is nobody boldly speaking to this? No, we have sources. I, I, I sometimes put no, information I mean, on the base of look, sources look, I have look, that I don't Look at the quantums we are talking about. Yeah. So your point is that why, the, why are people not bold? Everybody is hiding from this. Nobody is bold to put their name to this. What are they afraid of? The imminent prosecution? Hmm. Now let me come to the facts in this matter. 
they claim that they are a consortium that was put together mm -hmm. for the procurement. I remember that all along that was hidden from us. Mm -hmm. It was my second ep expose mm -hmm. which revealed that, oh, apparently, there's the same guys, the same actors who had registered different companies mm -hmm. and used to procure the ambulances. Mm -hmm. The first expose was on the spare parts, $34.9 million. Mm -hmm. Then in my second expose, mm -hmm. I revealed that, oh, after further tracking and parliamentary oversight, I discovered that the same directors have registered other companies, all of them between April and September 2017. No track record in the uh, uh, importation of ambulances, servicing of ambulances. Some of the companies are even building construction companies. Hurriedly put together. Now, after that expose, they are telling us that, you know, they formed a consortium mm -hmm. and participated a consortium called Service Ghana Auto Group Limited and then participated in this bid, which began 15 November 2018. Take note of the date. Yes. So this consortium participates in a bid of 15 November 2018. Yes. I have the incorporation documents of the consortium here mm -hmm. by the Registrar General, mm -hmm. certified true copy, stamped. Service Ghana Auto Group Limited was incorporated 24th April 2020. Mm -hmm. And yet, in 2018, two years prior, 18th November 2018, they are participating, this consortium is participating in bids. Can you believe that? When they were not a registered entity. And this is a matter the Auditor General has raised. I have a copy of the Auditor General's report here. Mm -hmm. Read paragraph 75, page 33 of the Auditor General's report. In addition, records from the Registrar General's Department revealed that SGAGL was registered on 24 April 2020. Therefore, from January to April 2020, when National Ambulance Service referred maintenance works to SGAGL, it was not a registered company with the Registrar General's Department. Now, does this answer the observation that you raised? In point three, when they speak about two, the competitive process, the 15 November, point three says a total of 16 companies participated, inclusive mm -hmm. of the seven companies that eventually formed the consortium during the pre-tender work workshop round, and then they list those seven uh, uh, companies. But then they go and say, these companies came together, leveraging their expertise and resources and emerging with exceptional value for money proposition in their compelling lowest bid. Okay, so the four, the IV, yeah. creates the impression that they created a consortium mm -hmm. which led them to win. Yes. So I get the point you're yes. making now. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, and, and, when and, you look at the three, exactly. it creates the impression that they were seven in exactly. the and, and even read I, read yeah. I. SJEGL mm. is an SPV of a consortium of seven companies mm -hmm. that participated in the competitive procurement process. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. 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 I is very clear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So two years before so you it were, was not it was not just proofreading that they should have I mean, made on the statement, I mean, but I mean, I mean what do they take a, what do they take us for? Maybe an, an application what, what, do they, what, what do they take us for? No common sense. Right. No regard to our law. And then they are rather issuing threats. Now, let's come to the amount. They claim in Ivy mm -hmm. that they, why, do you, why do you say there was no common sense? They presented the bid. Let's leave no it to the viewers. Sense. Let's leave it. Yeah? We don't yeah. have time, so okay. no, we'll to leave it to the viewers. Because uh, they are playing with our, our, our brains. Where, where? So, where, where Doc, it? if you read Ivy, I, they, I, I, Ivy, I, 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 and Doc, Ivy, Doc, please, please, you see the please, we, we, don't you mm. see that? Yes, it's to derail my thought process. I'm not falling for it. Who's going to derail thought process? If you read Ivy, if you read Ivy, I'm lying to to get away. And I have told you that check list. I know you can write your point and then make. I want to follow you. That's all. <laughs> the viewers are following me. Good, the viewers are following me. Why do you accuse me? Nana wants to help. Uh, what, what, I, help I don't need help. I don't need help. Please, I'm grateful. Yeah, but I want to follow. I'm I want thank to you. Follow. Thank you for the help. Thank I you. just want to follow. It's fine. You, okay. you, thank you but, very but much. But you shouldn't be accusing me. Like okay, that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I retract. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Ivy, this Service Ghana Auto Group Limited is telling us yes. that they presented the lowest bid. Yes. And their bid was 433,000 per ambulance. Yes. I mean, what do these people take us for? Why? What's your problem with that? Unfortunately for them, yes. I have once again intercepted all the payment vouchers. Yes. From the gift me system. Yes. What they were paid. Yes. What they were paid has absolutely nothing to do with this 133,000 per ambulance. Why? What some of them 
were, were paid. Indeed, if you look at ELOC Consult and Services Limited, they were paid 32,203,322 Ghana cities, 14 pesos. So they were paid separately? Yes. yes, they were paid separately. The seven companies, they were paid separately. They split it. So you see, interestingly, they split it. no payment was made to a consortium. Yes. Yes. No payment was made to a consortium. Exactly. Very interesting. That is the essay something. Yes. yes. No payment was made. Because at the time the payments were made, the consortium had not been formed. It, it, it didn't exist. Yeah, and, not before. Yes. It hadn't been formed. No, and yet okay. they say they went the to The payments were made in December 2019. Exactly. Between mm. the 24th and 27th of, of December. December. Yes. So it was the individual companies that were paid. Exactly. Because the consortium didn't exist then. Mm. Fantastic point. Now, this 32.2 million cities for the supply of 40 ambulances... If you look at the Bank of Ghana exchange rate at that time, December 2019, it was 5.5. Mm. What you get is 145,353 United States dollars and 34 cents for ELOC consult and services. That supplied how many? That supplied 40. So the 40 is also there? Yes, it's here. Supply of, supply of uh, 40 ambulances. It's, this it's is here. for supply, not maintenance. No, this is just, we are now dealing with the procurement, the procurement aspect. Being payment for 40 number, 4x4 four four Mercedes-Benz printer, 316 CDI ambulance vehicles. So this is full and final payment? Yes. Okay. Full and final payment. For the supply? Yes. yes. For, so for the 40, this ELOC, an ELOC consult, is the company that the same Stephen Okoro, mm -hmm. who is a business partner, Mm -hmm. of Jankroma Akufuado, Edwina Akufuado. Mm -hmm. And we all now know that it's also a father. Mm -hmm. the, the one who gave Akufuado his first um, uh, grandchild or mm -hmm. granddaughter. So when we are talking about politically exposed persons, mm -hmm. we know what we are talking about. Okay. It's a fact. Okay. You know, nobody can deny that. Right. So the ELOC, the directors are Stephen Okoro and his brother Solomon Okoro Okereke. Mm. They are the directors. They were paid $145,353 per ambulance. per ambulance. Can you believe that? Hugely inflated. When the Auditor General has discovered at page 24, paragraph 46 of this Auditor General's report, that a unit price of this ambulance is $80,000. Yeah, that is what the Auditor General has discovered. It's here, page 24, paragraph 46. Is this CIF or... Yes, the same model, same specs, page 24. Yeah, you go to page 24. Is it factory 46. price or landed? Uh, Market value, $80,000. Then let's come to Beft Engineer. And what is interesting is that same ambulance, same specs, mm. different payments. Mm. Beft Engineering, they were paid $26.6 million for sub also supplying 40. 40? Yes. And when you do the Bank of Ghana exchange with the prevailing exchange rate as of December 2019, they were paid $120,476. Mm. So ELOC was paid $145,000. They were paid $120,000. Then you come to Blue Mix, Blue Mix Company Limited. They were paid $15.9 million for supplying 35 ambulances. They supplied 35, and they were paid $15.9 million. If you do the exchange rate analysis, it amounts to $82,000 dollars eighty two thousand and sixty six dollars so same ambulance same specs some are supplying for one forty five thousand dollars i think it's based on you know somebody said that even though they were all invited to the same party some had a vip stand you know some were more special but what they're others. saying here is that these companies came together yes Leveraging their expertise yes. and resources, and I underlined that yes. expertise and resources. Yeah, expertise. And imagine with exceptional value for money proposition, mm -hmm. they're compelling lowest bid of one thirty-three thousand per ambulance. Per ambulance. Which is so. False. What they are saying is that seven of them participated. Yes. Uh, among sixteen companies. Yes. And then they, yes. the seven, they formed a consortium. Yes. And presented a bid of one thirty-three thousand. Yes. Per is ambulance. that proof of that? No, there's no proof of that. No proof. Of that. The payment exposes this as a blatant fabrication pure falsehood these are the payments could it be part payment no full payment ah well how can one forty five thousand be part payment no the one, one that is lower dollars. because you see i'm trying to make no sense no no it's full payment different... no that is yes yes that should because be because their statement says that they together 
presented a yeah. bid for 133 falsehood falsehood and i'll point more falsehoods in this statement they have no respect for the ghanaian people falsehoods so this is blue mix yes I'm, I'm done with blue mix prestige era company limited this is also 145,353.92 mm. then let's continue more payment vouchers Luxury World Auto Group Limited. DS is also one forty five thousand dollars, three hundred forty seven point four nine. Mm. RDC Company Limited. DS is seventy seven thousand. How? Yes. How? This is the actual. That, that is what the Auditor General discovers. That this ambulance average eighty thousand. That's what I'm asking. Fair market if value. These were not part payment. It's not part payment. It's here being payment for forty number. 4x4 four four Mercedes Benz. If it's partial payment, it will have been stated. Is it a 4x4? 4x4, number 4x4 four four, uh, four, four four Mercedes Benz printer 316 CDI. Same uh, specs. Same specs. Look at, look at point II of their statement. <coughs> if the payment voucher says 4x4, four four, mm -hmm. look at point II. It, There's something interesting. The last line. Yeah, for. Uh, Okay, yeah, vary to four by two. Yes. Yeah, yeah, four by two. Yeah. So they are saying the specs was changed. The specs was, it was changed. downgraded. It was downgraded. But the, payment, but the payment was not downgraded. Okay. Payment was not downgraded. It's here. Payment was for four by four. And this amounted to seventy seven thousand dollars and and, and thirty and forty six cents. So what are they talking about? Mm. What are they talking about? Let's continue. More falsehoods. They are also claiming, if you come to pay two, under the $34.9 million spare pass scandal, they say that the after-sales service and maintenance agreement was entered into in December 2019. Is that not what you see? Is that not what you see, yes. Doc? Yes. December 2019. Meanwhile, let me bring you to the Ministry of Health statement of 25th July 2024, mm -hmm. the first paragraph of the statement. It says, on September 10, 2020, the Ministry of Special Development Initiatives signed a contract with Service Auto Group Limited for the provision of after-sales service and maintenance for 307 Mercedes-Benz Printer 315 CDI ambulances. Who do we believe? Ministry of Health says they signed September 10, 2020. Service Ghana Auto Group says that it's December 2019. When was it signed? Mm. Who do we believe? And I can understand what the ministry tried to do. You know, the ministry is conscious that this company was incorporated April 24, 2020. Mm. So they don't want to fall in the trap which the Auditor General discovers that they signed the contract before the company was incorporated. So they say September 10, 2020. That is when we entered into the agreement. Mm. But this company, in a hurry to harass people, mm -hmm. intimidate people. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't even know what they are talking yeah, about. Yeah, they said after sales, service and maintenance agreement was entered into in December in, this, in December 2019. Meanwhile, Ministry of Health has told Ghanaians that 10 September mm. 2020. Who do we believe? So they are saying that... Then, let me come to... They are saying that yeah. they want the, uh, the procurement of the vehicles. Yeah. And you also want the after sales service. They got an agreement in December 2019. Yes. Then in April, they, what, they, they, they call themselves consortium companies. Yeah. They then incorporated an SPV. An SPV, yeah. What is consortium company? <laughs> yes, a group of companies. It's yes, the same I mean, as GAGL. So, so all this while, since 2018, it's not been incorporated. It's not a so, legal entity. So I mean, let me ask you a question. And if you so, read the Auditor General's report, the Auditor General indicts them that you don't do that. It indicted the National Ambulance Service and the Ministry of Health for entering into this arrangement when the entity was not registered. Paragraph 74 of this auditor's so, report. So, Randy, the, the question is... Then it continues. The, the, oh, just a question. Yes. Okay, so Sami is making <coughs> claims. The company SP something something yes. is also making counterclaims. Yes. How do you resolve it? Are we going yeah. to leave it at the No, we will not. That's why I've gone to, I've gone to the OSP. I've gone to the OSP. Okay. And let me confirm mm, on your show this morning that three days ago, on Tuesday, the OSP sent a crack team of investigators to interview me.
-hmm. I was really impressed with their professionalism for more than two hours. Mm -hmm. And they formally informed me that they have open investigations mm -hmm. into this matter. You know, initially, the letter we got was that they were considering if it falls within their purview. Their mandate. Their mandate. Now, they have confirmed that it falls within their mandate mm -hmm. and that they have open investigations and they have interviewed me for more than two hours and I've submitted additional documents. Now, if you look at the cost of these ambulances, we have paid $54 million. Mm -hmm. That's what the Auditor General discovers when you read page two of this Auditor General's report. Mm -hmm. And that is what they are trying to do by dividing 54 million by the 307 to get uh, 133,000. Mm. But the Auditor General has discovered from page 24 of this audit report that the actual value is $80,000. So where is that value? You didn't find it. I gave no. you the page. Page 24. I can't find it on that page. Page 24. You give it to me. So it says the premium per Mercedes Benz Sprint ambulance was $8,000 based on 10% on cost of $80,000 per Mercedes Benz Sprinter bus. Mm. It's here. Sprinter ambulance, pardon me. It's here. And the cost now is what? Uh, 113. When you come to 133. 133. That's what they are saying. So even even though it's even is not accurate. Mm. They were paid they were paid uh, some that. of them were paid more than that. Then you come to uh, page 2 of this uh, Auditor General's report. And you see, you see here from page two of the Auditor General's uh, report that we quote, in 2020, government procured and distributed 307 Mercedes-Benz ambulances at a cost of $54.3 million. When you do the analysis, the actual cost, this $80,000, we should not have paid beyond $24.5 million. So this was inflated by about $30 million on the ambulance procurement alone well they are saying that then you come to they pay the, let's come to the, the 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 servicing arrangement you see that even though they try to attack the auditor general and say that a uh, question their professionalism that they didn't hear them hear yes, their side and all yes. of that they proceed then to confirm everything mm -hmm. first of all they have admitted by the payment to government the refunds to government that they engage in over invoicing. Mm. It's clear. Because the Auditor General indicted them that this is a company that engages in over invoicing, which, as we all know, is fraudulent. It's a crime. They have paid back complying with the Auditor General. The Auditor General also discovered, when you go through this Auditor General's report, that they don't have garages. They are using garages belonging to the state. Now they are claiming that they did renovations. Yes. But, but, but read VI under the contractual projected budget for spare parts mm -hmm. at page 2. They say that other projects in Ho and Takradi have stalled due to land litigation. Virtually confirming what the Auditor General says. They are now giving excuses that because of land litigation. And yet we are paying them between 2020 and 2023 for this I'm told for that this servicing, a, we paid them $115 million. $2.1 million uh, dollars in the agreement mm -hmm. which was supposed to be used for the setting up of mm -hmm. workshops. Yes. So whether, whether, whether that, this, that has not been done. Where is the, where's the agreement? So we have asked for it at Assurances Committee. The mm -hmm. minister has up to next week, by close of next week, to submit the full contract. Because here we are, they, don't, they can't even tell us when it was signed. Mm. Okay. Ministry of Health says September 2020. They are also saying December 2019. Mm. Is there a parliamentary inquiry in addition to OSP? Well, that's what the Assurances Committee, you know, um, is, is pursuing, you know, in this matter. But there's no separate probe by, by an ad hoc committee okay. on this matter. So, look, the more you go into this, and then they, wrap, now, wrap up for me. they now want us to believe that mm. This $34.9 million for spare parts, they say, oh, they didn't factor in uh, medical equipment at all. The entire ambulance with medical equipment, fully equipped, mm. Auditor General says it's $80,000. Mm. You let's even go with their dubious $133,000, which mm. payment vouchers have exposed them. Mm. 
how should we be paying hundred and thirteen thousand dollars for spare parts? For spare parts, and you say and we medical, are medical, uh, uh, yes, medical parts, and, and you say as if the eighty thousand dollars market value it doesn't include medical parts. It, of, it when we say an ambulance, it's a vehicle with medical equipment. Mm. So how can the spare parts be more than the value of the ambulance? I mean, what do these people take us for? All right, okay. So we'll look, find out, yeah. this statement they shouldn't have issued it. All right. Mm? Well, has, at least they've they, succeeded they, in they, 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 they have so. worsened. That's what. That's the only thing they want to achieve. So, so I'm saying they, that they, they, they have achieved that. They've oh, I know you. I know you. You can never be intimidated no, am, by, this, by this. By this hogwash. Uh,